Hello there. So today I have decided to try something different again. I was given this container which is has got magnet mag, it is magnetized in the lid um, so you can pop uh, paper clips in one side and push pins in the other or whatever you want and when you put the lid on you just give it a bit of a tip up and it holds those items up in the lid but I don't want this part I'm after the split cup part and I'm going to pop some paint into this and then tip it on my canvas um, to see what sort of a pattern that I can make and the colours that I'm going to be using today are uh, Montmartre Titanium White, Montmartre Mars Black and 24 karat gold which is made by Deco Art. So I'll now fill up my little pot with those colours. as full as what I'll put, um, fill up my pot. I won't take it right up to the top because my canvas is only a 10 inch by an 8 inch and I think that will be enough paint to do what I want to do. So now I am going to start to pour. I'm not sure whether I will keep it just as a straight pour or whether I will start to move it around once I've got the paint down to break up some of the colour.
I'm very happy with that. It's got that stormy centre look about it coming out into the grey, which of course gives it more of a stormy colour, and the gold, which to me is just the last rays of the sun before the storm hits. I've got a very vivid imagination. So now I'm going to get rid of bubbles. I don't expect there to be any cells. There may be a few because of the um, metallic Extreme Sheen 24K gold paint that I have used. It sometimes creates them. But overall, I just want the nice um, uh, design that I have managed to create with the um, with the way that I put the colours into the container. So now I will bring this up closer to the light for you to have a look at. I really love that centrepiece on there. I'm loving the um, the, the effect of it as it, the, it sort of it does remind me a little of what you see of the eye of a storm and I was I'm very pleased that I kept it at just a straight pour instead of traveling it around the canvas uh, you would have noticed that as I got into the pour instead of traveling the pot around I kept lifting it up higher and higher and higher until it was about 10 centimeters up from the surface of the canvas just to give it more of that effect that I have now from it. So the, the, these are things that I experiment with all the time to be able to get the different patterns. So that's it for me for this video. Thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time.